What's going on guys? We are heading to the Guinness store factory storehouse um, basically where you can check out some of the Guinness products. This is Dublin, Ireland. So this is the home and birthplace of Guinness. All right, I've been here for a couple of days, but I haven't drunk any Guinness. And so, yeah, we're going to be drinking some Guinness today. And I think I'm going to do it with someone special. <laughs> there she <Nice>. is. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Who are you? <laughs> do y'all remember this girl? Huh? I am going to Dublin. Yay! I'm gonna bring you to us again with Orange Cozy Pubs. Okay. And I'm just gonna bring you just around everyone and just have the crack. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Ireland. Come on, please, what dates? Huh? Let's see if he actually makes it. Well, let's see if I make it, guys. Okay, well, you made it. You, yes, yes. <laughs> I met this girl in Paris, France, and she's like, look, if you come to Dublin, she's gonna show <laughs> me around. We've already been hanging out, but uh, now we're gonna do a video together. Guinness storehouse. Look at how fly you look, dog. <laughs> oh, very thanks. fly, very fly. All right. So let's go in here. So if you guys are coming to uh, check this experience out, they have several different experiences, but it's better to do what? Go to the Guinness factory. No, check online. <laughs> check online. <laughs> okay, you're a photographer, so she's gonna be doing some um, amazing shots of your boy, and I'm gonna try to put some of it up here, okay? And uh, yeah, so go online, because if you don't, guys, it's gonna overbook, right? Yes, it is. I know, is. we've missed our slot, so <laughs> right. fingers crossed. Oh, I, think, I think we should be good. I think we should be good. All right, let's go. Hopefully. All right. Okay. So, is this the birthplace of. Uh, yeah, it's, is this the birthplace of uh, Guinness? I think so. Like, the factory is massive. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it gets brewed right here, but have you been around the place? There's like big silver, like. No, like, as we were pulling up, I was like, what the heck? It looked like a huge factory all over this place. Yeah, right? and did you smell? You can smell like the. Is it malt? It's, oh, really? Yeah. I, I didn't notice. I was in the car, but. <laughs> all right. Are we in the right queue? Yeah. I think we are. Yeah. This is the scan section right here? Yep. Okay, right. Jess. I want to hear about last night. <laughs> oh, wow, guys. We can't talk about that on camera. <laughs> so this is the different levels we are. Wow, it looks like a cup, huh? It does actually, doesn't it? Wow. And so what levels are we going to? We're going to do all levels. They actually, see the gravity bar, they host like events and like DJs and stuff. Right? I don't know if there's anything on tonight. But oh, okay. That's cool. Can, there's like a view of Dublin from the top. Okay. So you've been here before? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I haven't done the tour though. Do you like Guinness? Yeah. Do you like Guinness? Uh, you know what? I've never tried Guinness before in my life. So we're going to try it now for the very first time. No better place. No, I've actually tried Guinness in other places, but here is a different culture. So yeah. like when I got here, I haven't tried the Guinness from Dublin, but this is the first time I've seen something I've never seen before. Wow. Enjoy. Oh. It's so good. Are we? You're going straight through that tunnel. You won't get lost, okay? Okay, go this way. Okay. All right. Are we going to get merch? <laughs> what is this? Oh, they got the. Oh, they got people. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you can get someone to show you around, guys, just in case. Well, this is going to be like a quick uh, do it yourself type of tour. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Ah, so that's Guinness, guys. Look at that. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Definitely thirsty. Yeah, look at her. Look at her. She's <laughs> oh. Guinness has always been brewed using just four simple. So four? Wow. Barley, water, hops, and yeast. Okay. There it is. So you've tried Guinness before, just not in Ireland. No, and when I got here, oh wow, look at this. This looks like uh, that uh, movie Ga Gladiator. <laughs> Remember that movie? Yeah. Where the guy finally gets home to his family after he dies? Is this real? Let me see. Grown with love and tiny leash. Wow. Wow. 
Yeah, you guys have a process to drinking Guinness. You pour it in the cup, then you have to wait. Yeah. And then, have you ever heard about um, splitting the G? I never heard of that. So, like, you know, on the Guinness glass, says Guinness. Right. You to, like, take your first uh, drink and try, like, land it, like, where you split the G. You know, it goes like this, G. Wow. Yeah, it's like a thing. We got to do that. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. What did it say? I don't they know. They had Guinness, little Guinnesses coming down, and it said Guinness. Park. It's a 95% water. What? So cool. Water. <laughs> wow. From your mountains, huh? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Y'all should be proud how many drunk people you guys make around the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> you make a lot of people happy out here. It's from our waters. It's not only made here, right? It's not made anywhere yeah, else. just here. Okay, cool. One of a kind yeast, one of a kind brewery. Okay. It says their yeast is stored in liquid nitrogen. This is the representation of yeast in liquid nitrogen form, guys. Wow. So we are actually walking up where we saw, guys, that, uh, that bottle, I mean, that cup. So this is the brewing section right here. It says the temperature we roast at, it creates a unique flavor and aroma and color of Guinness. So this particular temperature, 232. Zero temperature and it moves up until it gets to the color they want. 232. Wow. Guinnesses. What is the color? Guess. Brown? It's actually crazy. Mm, really? Is yeah, that what it says apparently. There? No, I, I learned this the last time I was here. Oh. So you've seen all of this already? I actually haven't. It was some sort of a press thing I did with someone. Oh, and so. You had to go to we some... just got our faces on the Guinness. It's our roasted barley. Okay. Okay. I think I was late and I missed it. <laughs> like traditional Irish, like you'd be getting like stews. Mm. Would you want a stew right now? Or like coddle? What is coddle? I heard about that. I think it's like a, it's kind of like a soup with like different meats. Oh. Yeah. What's your favorite meal? I love. Italian foods. I love a pasta. Uh, no, your favorite Ireland meal. Irish meal. Yeah. I love roast. Okay. Yeah. Would you work here? Would you work at the factory? Yeah. What would you be doing? I think I would be. I'd love to be going around and making sure everyone's having a good time. Whatever. Kind okay, of a job okay, 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 okay. Hey guys, so you guys have a good go. Some walk around and ask somebody. Are you having a good time? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna think you work here. <laughs> Sorry, is that thing okay? <laughs> <laughs> like oh yes, oh yes, I would love one. Three hundred million bubbles is in every pint. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Right. Can you smell it? Yeah, I smell it now. Oh, this is the food area. <laughs> this is the area we, I think, we got one more to go. Oh, this, is it up there? Are we finished the tour? Or I think it keeps going. This is a decent tour so far, guys. We paid 30 pounds per ticket. So, not bad. Yeah. How much is it? 32? Thir yeah, 32. A 30 euro per ticket. I, I think I got my money's worth so far, right? <laughs> Just walking around and seeing some cool stuff. And then we're gonna get some alcohol for free at the end. Do you like the museum? It's good. Do you like museums in general, though? Um, 
I like the loot. Yeah. But after that, uh, <laughs> you would notice that. <laughs> you like the loot? Generally, I don't go to museums unless there's like something that I saw that I, I want to see in yeah. real life. So the loot is cool. Yeah. What about you? I don't usually do museums really. I actually went to the Titanic Museum um, in Belfast recently. Oh, they have one? Yeah. Oh. In Belfast. How was that? It was really good, actually. Yeah, it was good. They have, don't they have the whole Lord of the Rings thing there? I don't know. They have, the, not the Lord of the Rings. Um, no, they have the, the TV show that everybody goes crazy yeah, for. Yeah, what's it called again? That's that's in Dublin though, I think. You never watched it neither? No, uh, I know the one you're talking about. Uh, Ringlands of Fire? Vikings. Not Vikings, no? Vikings, I heard Vikings. There's another one where it's uh, uh, Thrones, Kings of Thrones. Oh yeah, Ga Games of <laughs> Game <of> Thrones. <laughs> Just said Kings of Thrones. Um, I saw that there is some sort of a uh, museum here in Dublin. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, nice. So now we know what that head was. So you noticed it, right? You know what that is, right? No. How you don't know what this is? What do you mean? Remember the head we saw downstairs? That was poking out? Oh! <laughs> nice turtle. Check out this area, guys. They have uh, some stuff you can buy. So they have this area here so if you're trying to get some form of sweater they're going for what I think is uh, 50 euro Christmas memorabilia are you always late? Uh, I'm always on time I arrived the exact moment that I needed to be there <laughs> Fair enough. That kind of sound Asian right there. Let me see, let me hold this guy. Got me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a nice sound. Come on, come on, come get some. So, yeah, you know, I used to play. Yeah. <laughs> so I was kind of trying to figure out. They say this tour is actually like two hours, and now I understand how you can make it two hours if you literally are stopping and watching the shows here. Oh, wait a minute! What's this? Wait a minute! Experience. Oh, we gotta go back now. Wait a sec. Is that? Aroma pods around the room. They all contain an aroma from the key ingredients that's found in Guinness. So they do look the same, but they have their own unique scent. What is this so one try like? to get around to each one. See if you like any of oh, them. Oh, yeah. See if any it's of the like herbs are here. That's hops. You're right. It is hops. It says it right there. You're good. These are the four ingredients, I guess, that so make it. So the doors are closed. That means we have everyone in the room. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome nice. to Tasting Rooms. My name is Leah. I'm going to be your guide in this part of your tour. Yeah. So this room that you've just walked into is called the White Room. There's no prizes for guessing why it's called the White Room. It's very bright and very white. It was designed this way so when you walk through the deep, dark corridor into the bright white room, Multiple. your senses are enhanced. Yeah. You get the best experience of smelling these aromas tasting your Guinness later on. So by now you'll have all had a chance to familiarize yourself with these aroma pods. As I said earlier, they all contain an aroma from a key ingredient in Guinness. So we're going to start here on my left hand side with the malted barley aroma pod. Malted barley is the source of all the sugar in Guinness. So it's what gives it its subtle sweetness, it smells quite like biscuits, breakfast cereals, or some people say it smells like Maltesers. Down here in the bottom corner we have the aroma pod for beer esters. Is that not the cutest pint of Guinness you've ever seen? I think it deserves an aww. Aww. Very good. 
So you're all going to get your very own cute and adorably small pint of Guinness in just a moment. Before we do, I have a few house rules. Here in Ireland, the legal drinking age is 18, so if you're under 18, please don't take a sample. In the Guinness storehouse, we operate under a Challenge 25 policy. This just means if you look under 25, we may ask you for your ID today. Please don't be offended if we ask, but most importantly, please don't be offended if we don't ask you for your ID today either. And the last rule, once you get your sample, you're not going to drink them here in this room. You're going to take them to the next room where I'm going to bring you through a guided tasting. And I assure you, a guided tasting does go much better if you have something left in your glass to taste. It's a couple of moments of self-control, guys. It's worth the wait. So come on up, take your samples, and you can follow me down to the next room. Oompa, 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 dee dee. Now we gotta go to the other room. <laughs> wow. Okay, oh nice. So welcome to the second part of your tasting experience. Feel free to put your Guinness down on any of the plates provided. And we're not going to drink it just yet. We're going to wait until we have everyone in the room to do our guided tasting all together. We have a group of Guinness tasting experts that test every single batch of Guinness for quality control. They use those exact glasses that you guys have in your hands today. So for one day, and one day only, you're all going to be my Guinness tasting experts. Are we ready? Are we excited? Yes. Very good. So, they use a technique called the retro-nasal technique. Sounds very scary, but it's very easy. And once you get the hang of it, you're going to unlock all of those flavours from the last room that you just learned about. So we're going to do it all together. The first step is we're going to pick up our samples and take an inhale through our nose. See if we can pick up any of those aromas we learned about from the last room. Then we're going to take a generous mouthful, pull right through the head of the beer, let it coat our palate for a few seconds, swallow and exhale through your nose. So it's an inhale through the nose, a generous mouthful, let the beer coat your palate for a few seconds, swallow and exhale through your nose. So what you may pick up on is a sort of sweetness on the tip of your tongue from malted barley. You might get some rich dark chocolate or coffee flavours along the sides of your tongue. That would be from roasted barley. And I can tell by a few faces around the room, some of us got the bitterness from the hops just at the back of our tongue. So, if you picked up on any of these flavours or aromas, wow. congratulations, you are now Guinness tasting wow. experts. If you didn't, don't worry. It just means you need more practice. And lucky for you, there is a much bigger pint in the gravity bar for you to practice with. So, to celebrate becoming Guinness tasting experts, we're going to do a traditional Irish cheers, and that word is slancha. So I'm going to count to three, we're going to raise our glass, whether they're full or whether they're empty, and we're going to say slancha. So on the count to three, one, two, three. Slancha! Very good. So feel free to finish all your samples. I do have a small favor to ask. I know those glasses are so cute. I know they're so adorable. I also know they happen to be very conveniently pocket sized. That is not for your convenience, guys. Those glasses need to stay. Oh, really? So I very kindly ask that you leave them on these. All right, guys. So we're back on the trace on the floors. This is the fifth floor. So apparently, this is a restaurant. You can actually enjoy some food. And then the next floor up is their last floor, which goes up to the seventh. Wow. Have you had cake? No. I had a food break of cake. Oh, we gotta try some. Delicious. If they have a we eat it. Oh. Wow. Oh, they actually put the 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 Guinness in the batter. The Caribbean, they do a, a type of uh, Guinness type of special drink in the Caribbean. Looks like the restaurant is closed, guys. Hello. What are your schedules normally? For here? For the restaurants to be open? I don't know. Okay, opens, but it closes at four. Okay, got you. All right. So this is one bar still open, guys, but uh, the, those restaurants close at four o'clock. I guess if you want to get some extra, 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 extra drinks, you can come and get your drinks here. Yeah, oh, and they actually have food here too. So yeah, prime Irish cheeseburger, Guinness cured smoked salmon, dirty fries. Oh, and they got breakfast here too, guys. If you're coming early in the morning, there you go. Wow, that looks, that looks amazing. Let's go to the top floor, see what's going on. The gravity bar. Okay, so in order to get to the gravity bar, you gotta take the steps, no more escalators. Unless you take the elevator. Drink Guinness. Oh, that was my first time drinking Guinness here, guys. 
What you think? You know what? It was too small to come with a conclusion. It was cool to learn it. Now, let me do it one more time, all right? Let's see if we can get it. Next one. Next one. Next one. All right. Next one. Next one. Going on? Okay. All right. Wow, the view. Oh, wow. This is Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. At the end of the video where they go in the elevator to the top. <laughs> There's some the similarities, wow. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, this is the place they get uh, some beers. And then you get to see the beautiful views of Ireland, Dublin. Look at this, guys. Hold on, I'm gonna stop so you can get a clear look. And oh, you can also see some of the factory right here. So, not bad, huh? This is a major tourist destination, y'all. It's nice, no. Right. Guys, I think this uh, this actually is the number one tourist destination here in Dublin. They come here and, um, wow. Wow. So, that guy was saying, if you want to come in, he'll pour it and talk you through it. Oh, let's do it? Yeah. Where is he? In here. Okay. You see what happens when you're with Carla? <laughs> People want to do extra favors. <laughs> uh -huh. <There> hey. <laughs> wow. Wow. How's it going, buddy? Good. Guinness? Yes, I would like a Guinness. Guinness? Yes, please. <laughs> wow. How did you know? <laughs> So this is the first pour. So what we're doing here now is right. we're pouring and it's going to take 119.5 seconds to settle. So this is the surge. So this is all the nitrogen gas coming from the bottom right up the top and it's landing just here. Wow. So I see all that white foam on top, that's the nitrogen gas. And all the cascading effect down the side of the point, that's all the nitrogen gas rushing down the side of the glass. So we're going to wait for 119.5 seconds to go from light to dark. When it goes dark, we're going to do the second pour. So the second pour, so for the first pour we pull back, release the nitrogen gas and beer. I believe that's settled for 119.5 seconds. And for the second one, we push forward and tap. Release With it, this? Release it just, wow. just beer, no gas. Wow. If we pull it back and tap again, it'd be too big of a head. So that's why there's a little bit of a science to it. This is a rocket science thing right here, like, you know? And if you don't do it this formula, what happens to the beer? So for instance, if I, for the second pour, if I pull back on taps again, like I did the first time, that iconic, thick, creamy head would be huge, and we don't want that. All right. We don't want that. And also, there's a certain temperature. We served again, it's between five and seven degrees Celsius. If it's not between five and seven degrees Celsius, a few things can happen. That head won't look great. The beer won't taste as good as should do. So, so it needs to be a certain temperature. Between five and seven degrees. And when you get it and you hit your tongue, you're going to feel it straight away. And you're going to say it's nice and cold. Wow. You know, so it's going to be brilliant. So it's, it's really patient to it. So we're just waiting. It's nearly ready, you know. You see that color change? Right, I see it. The ruby. Yeah, yeah, the ruby, that, ru red. that ruby red. Yeah, yeah. And see, this is where we need to split, split the G. Yes. Oh. So we take our first sip and we're going to want to land it as close to there. And that's the proper way of splitting the G. Yeah, so whoever is closest is the winner. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I got this. <laughs> I'm, I'm only going to get to a professional Guinness drinker. <laughs> nice. All right. Sure.
here we are now, you can see the point. Right. It has gone from light to dark. Right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the second pour. Mmm. The second pour. You see on the tilt first it line, forward. I pulled it back, so this we're going to tilt it forward. So we're getting our point here, bringing it up, tilting it forward, and we're upsetting all them gases again. Wow. And now you see it's gone back to light. Wow. So that's surge happening again. So this one takes a bit less, about 45 seconds for it resettles. They've been doing it all wrong in America. <laughs> I've been drinking trash in America. Now, guys, if they ain't doing it like this, I don't want it. So you see, you see, you see that now. It's gonna be a bit quicker this time. It's sweet reset here. It's gone from light to dark. You see that lovely, them lovely bubbles again. So there's 300 million bubbles in the glass. So let's keep on going. And that lovely, thicker, kind of creamy head on top. Wow. So I'll say you really wanna have a bit of patience. You know, to get us a bit of well worth it. No, no, it's very worth it. You let me know when it's ready. Nearly there, nearly there, focus. Keep it up so you can see the, the, the progression of it move, changing. Yeah, do I go for the alcohol free one? at the bottom no, guys. No, it's gone dark. There's your point guys. Thank wow. you so much. No, you learned upstairs about drinking Guinness one. What you want to do is for your first sip, bring that Guinness up, get that Guinness moustache and drink back. Take a nice healthy sup so you get, you get all and the flavours. And how am I exhaling for my nose in it? Right? Nose, yeah. yeah. So I'll leave, leave the rest of your palate, swallow up and then that'll be okay. Mm. So rest of the luck. Okay, Enjoy. and we need to split the G. Go ahead, split the G first. Okay. Let's see what you got. Oh, I want to cheers you. All right. Cheers. Slancha. Slancha. There you go. Mm. Way off. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, but that was raw. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Right. Let's see who's going to win it. Oh! <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. All right. Uh, how are you? Good, yeah. How are you? Yeah, not bad. It's quite good. Oh! Busy day for us. You've done it. <laughs> you know, I got some Irish in me. Perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. I have some Irish in me. You know that, right? I got to like a... <laughs> now I know. <laughs> wow. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, guys, we're going to enjoy this. And I think there's one more we want to look for, right? The face one? Oh, yeah, we get to put our faces on it. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. I'm going to show you one more thing real quick. But shout out to this guy. I don't know where he went, but shout out to him and out to the staff here. Uh, we really appreciate you. Thank you, man. I wanted to personally thank you. All right. All right. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Appreciate you. All right, guys. So, guys, we're about to do one of these. We already know how to pour pints. Yeah. Please. So, you send us up the heart. How you guys do this, anyways? So, we take the picture. Picture gets sent to the machine. Oh, yeah. Why you look like a dog, huh? You look like a criminal on that one. Do you want to go again? Go ahead, one more. Let me fix this hat. Hold on. But the print in itself is just malt extra. I gotta bend over a little bit because she's kind of short. <laughs> Let me know if we like the same size. Yeah. Okay. One. Your hands will get full. Yeah, it's just a guys. One. Look away, home. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was a nice one. I filmed this part because there's other people's uh, photos. Oh, okay, right, okay, sorry, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, what I need to do? <laughs> All right. Well, I can, I, don't worry, I'm not filming the faces. Okay, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. And you can just tap your photo and then you'll see it from the top, so it's the best to film. Okay. Okay, we tap in the photo, guys. All right, it says it's printing. And then, oh, you can see it being made from the top. Oh my god, I've never seen it in action. Oh! Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. 
You wanted to do a random face? We could have did a random. We should have did a random face. <laughs> yeah, we should. have. <laughs> they didn't really drink somebody else's face. <laughs> like, oh my gosh! Wow! Okay, guys, here you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Wow! I think it was worth it. I think so. Right, the money was worth it, right? Yeah. Okay. Top of bar, you get a plane for ten euro. Is it ten? All right. Yeah. So what is that? Is it cheaper? It's cheaper, right? We're making money, basically. Yeah, we're making money. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Sloncha. Oh, I thought she was chosen. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, you too? Sloncha. Sloncha. All right. Here we go, guys. We we need to try split the G. Right. Oh, oh, she wants she want war. In, in one sip. She want war. In she want war. <laughs> she want war. That's what she do. She want war. Okay, let's go. In one sip. All right. right. Oh, come on. All right. Cheers. Oh, cheers. I had an extra gulp. And what is it? One sip, like look, look, or there's one. Look. I took three sips. Okay. So, so it looks like we're even. Hold on. Can we go again. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a video of this. Oh. Oh, you beat me, girl. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Wow. 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 This is weird. Put <laughs> it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm here in Dublin and I'm having a wonderful time. What was it, how you say it? Slauncha. Slauncha! 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 Slauncha is, Irish is a beautiful it mean, language. It means health. Health. But it's also cheers. What so else it's like, you got? cheers to your health. What else you got? Um, In Irish words? Right. Pogue Mahone means kiss me. <laughs> Pogue Mahone. But that's like, okay. You wouldn't know the curse words, huh? You wouldn't, you know, you, you wouldn't know the disrespect. Wait, what a, What else? Um, like, Dia Gwich is hello. Huh? Dia Gwich is hello. Dia Gwich? Yeah. Uh, you obviously know about like the crack, like oh, what's the crack? What's the crack? Yeah, that's like so Irish. But that's that's not Irish language. C a c or a i c. But like crack, I think that means fun. What's up, guys? We're still here. It's what time is it actually? It is ten to seven. So you know what? That goes to show you, like, if you get a like a ticket, you could just come here and spend all day. No one was kicking us out. That's true. So it might get a little busy in terms of purchasing tickets, but once you're in here, you can actually enjoy the sunset if you come here at what three, four o'clock. You come here all day. Right. So if you come here late, you got it. If you come here right before, they're not kicking you out. At least as of right now, I feel like I got my money's worth. I think so. Right. And this is this is part of the reason. <laughs> How was the drinks here? How was the drinks here? <laughs> they were good. I think they were good. <laughs> I didn't know you were talking to me. The drinks were amazing. Good drinks. And you said like when you go out of town, it's not the same, right? No, no way. So we met in Paris. Right. And the we went to an Irish bar to get Guinnesses. Right. And they just like they, they they weren't the same as in Ireland, but especially in Guinness. Right. I mean, you can't get much better than here. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this experience. More on the way from your boy. Where I need to go next in Dublin or Ireland, or maybe I'm going to another <laughs> country. I don't know. More on the way. Appreciate you. Uh, how do we end it? What, how, what's that word you said? Slauncha. Slauncha. Yo. This is
Thank you.